BTool 4 uses a single database to store all of your BTool related um, files like your patterns and palettes and layouts instead of a bunch of different files strewn all, all around your hard drive. And the library is a way to interact with, your da with that database. So if you click browse, you can see folders for your patterns and your palettes and your layouts. It's also searchable. Um, as you can see, I don't have anything in my patterns yet. But it, let's say that we just created this pattern and I want to save it. Just click save and type in a name. And you can optionally put in a description. And then pick a folder you want to save it to. And when you browse your library in my patterns, you'll see that, that it's saved right there. Now, if you wanted to load a different pattern, just click the Browse button and say I wanted to load this one. Just double click on whatever file you want to load. Let's go back to the blue butterfly. What if I wanted to rename this? What I would do is just right click and select Properties and rename it. And now it's renamed. You can also create um, custom folders. So I'll click New Folder, and I'm going to create a folder called Butterflies. And it's going to hold patterns, so I'll select the Patterns folder. Now I have this empty Butterflies folder, and I'm going to put this folder into my Butterflies folder. And there's another one here somewhere. There's another butterfly. So as you can see it makes it pretty easy to, to organize your all of your BTool stuff and you don't have to worry about where it is on your computer anytime you open up BTool it's just gonna be there. Now what if I wanted to share this butterfly that I just made with somebody else that has BTool I would have to figure out some way to send it to them so that they can edit it and change the colors or whatever. So you would right click and save to, and I'm going to select my desktop and save. It's that easy. And you can import just as easily. It, I just saved it to my desktop, and if I wanted to import that file again, say I accidentally deleted it or whatever, I just click um, File, Import, Single File, Navigate to my Blue Butterfly, and import it. And it'll always go into my patterns, so there it is.